getting ready to serve is for me a little bit different than hitting. Um, we do want to work on our toss every day we, a little bit. We do want to work on exactly how our arm works when we serve. So if we're serv serving a floater or a top spin, it really doesn't matter. Um, what we do is we start at the 10 foot line. We serve balls back and forth to one another at the 10 foot line so that there's no speed to start with. Because you're actually using the muscles in a different way than when you hit and we feel you want to make sure you get those warmed up as well. When you're serving a floater, you're decelerating very quickly. And so we don't want to do that with high speed first. We want to do it at low speeds so that we just get our arm into doing that action at the start of practice every day. We do it game days. Um, for me, it just gives me a feeling of we're trying to pay attention to details where they're working on uh, serving really under control and making good contact, making it float every time, and getting their arm ready. So we might serve here, and that, you know, two or three here, and then move back five different locations. There are days where we'll do it where you have to serve, you and your partner have to serve a good serve, um, and then you move back. If you miss a serve or don't serve it in the zone that you're in um, on the court, then you have to go back to the start. So you can make it competitive in a lot of ways too. But for us, mostly we do it as a way to focus on skills at, at a little slower speeds um, for hand contact um, and to warm our shoulder up because it is a little bit different motion.